Hey everybody, welcome to Video Games Awesome Live! We are back from Japan, but we've got a Tracer Turbo Buddy in there instead of our Turbo Buddy who actually have a little suit on, so I'm just gonna swap that out. Whoop. We have BlizzCon starting in about an hour, so we have to watch this right now. I cut it close because the setup took longer than I expected. Of course. So this is Paris Games Week. We missed it while we were in Tokyo because, well... Our Airbnb didn't have good internet, so even if I wanted to, there was no way we were going to be able to come to you live with this. Yeah. Um, I hope that you will accept the, you know, half-week delay watching this. Sorry, buddy. But at least we get to watch in crystal clear 60 frames per second on the archive version. Ooh, that's nice. So yeah, right after this show, we're going to be watching BlizzCon, so stay tuned for that. BlizzCon's opening ceremonies. So, Sony, like, did this, like, we did a Paris Games, I completely forgot about this event, because yeah, it's too. not often that a company takes advantage of this. <gasps> That's where we were! Well, not What's this there. gonna be? But, uh, yeah, we actually did a Paris Games show, show like, two years ago, maybe yeah, even exactly. three. I didn't even remember I didn't even remember that. it. <laughs> Samurai. You are a warrior. I can see that. You trained your whole life for this. This would have been felt pretty appropriate if we had watched it. Right. <laughs> in Japan. And you have won battles that lesser men have called unwinnable, yes? But while you were sharpening your sword, do you know how I prepared for today? I learned. I know your language. I thought he was going to say he had a really big breakfast. Your traditions. <laughs> That's how I prepare. <laughs> which villages to tame and which to burn? So I will ask you once again, Samurai. Do you surrender? What oh. is this? Is a new IP? A what are we sword. looking at? By the way, when I say things like that, I don't want answers. I'm just speaking <laughs> out loud. New IP? That's new? Whoa. Did it say which studio it was? The studio that made Infamous? Inf Inf oh, Sucker Punch. Nice. Ah. New IP. Very different IP. Damn. I'm happy because I wasn't big on Infamous. I thought it was kind of meh. Please welcome Jim Ryan. Like, I like the gameplay in Infamous. I just thought the story was like, eh. Yeah. So, like, I'm happy to see them go Not into a new IP because... Gameplay-wise, it was a good game. Well, what a great way to open Paris Games Week. <laughs> Thank you for joining us tonight. It's now five years since we launched PlayStation 4, and I still have the honor to unveil a brand new AAA game, the astonishing Ghost of Tsushima from Sucker Punch. Hmm. And you know what? That's not the last surprise that you're about to get. Ooh. That would suck if You've that seen was the it. Power of <laughs> Thank you for coming. Only with immersive storytelling but also allows developers to fulfill their wildest dreams. The great news is that these developers are now extracting more and more Got power from the machine with increasingly spectacular oh, results. Enough. That's why a single creative mind like Toby Fox can deliver one of the year's biggest hits in Undertale. Who that? What's this? <laughs> why a small studio like Ninja Theory can take you on a thrilling personal journey with AAA production values in Hellblade. That was good, huh? And Hellblade? Yeah. Like studios yeah, can it had potential. And Zero Dawn's yeah. breathtaking I think that it, um, it's a little rough around the edges, but I think that it could have been, uh, I think it was okay. Furthermore, you can expect innovative new dimensions in gameplay as we continue to explore the possibilities of virtual reality. 
The bottom line is that there is so much power and potential packed into PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Pro. That innovation will continue you know, to I have to actually take back something I was pretty adamant about on a previous stream about how long we are before a new console. Mm, yeah. In my memory, it really feels like they're shorter, the generations. But we have like probably a good two to three years left. I know. As we will show you tonight, it's, it's nice thrilling to, to think there's even more to oh, come. Oh God, your head is so soft. <laughs> Get off it, <laughs> Jesus! Can continue to God, focus on really bringing you the Jesus, woman. Can I lick it? We're also no, get off it. On expanding the PlayStation community, we're excited about innovation like PlayLink, highly social, easy to play, PlayLink, and fun. We've been thrilled with the success of That's You, with over three million downloads to date and see more social and family oriented games give us an opportunity to expand our reach and amplify our mission to be the best place to play. The past 20 years have seen trends come and trends go. We're still here, stronger than ever, and well positioned for the future. The ecosystem of today will be more powerful, more engaging, Echo and more immersive oh, tomorrow. Ecosystem. I the get maturity it. of the gaming industry like, is an incredible harassment. asset. Yeah, he threw me off there. Harassment. 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 Ultimately, words mean little. Action is everything, and the proof is in the journey into the extraordinary worlds of new titles and new experiences that you're about to enjoy. I think you'll agree that the best place to play just keeps getting better. So Sony build so this as part two of E3. After, exclusive yeah. So far, it doesn't really feel like E3. <laughs> this is really long-winded compared to their E3 conference. I was thinking about looking your head. Okay. <laughs> oh, what's this? This is something fresh looking. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, cool style. Kind of, kind of French. Style too. Mm. Maybe that's what this is. Ooh. Huh? Is that being controlled by a move then? That the movement like kind of looks a little jittery like somebody's controlling it with their hand. Like you're talking VR? Yeah, this might be VR slash move. Maybe another one of those you're a like third person observer watching him do this. Pretty easy though, they're a paintbrush kid. So, in his customizable palette, there he could choose from patterns that seem to customize the monster as he created it, as though each little part of them, like, creates a different monster that. Stuff. Yeah. Oh my god, this is absolutely gorgeous. It's really pretty. Uh... Doesn't matter how many bullies push you down, so long as you have hallucinogenics. <laughs> Concrete genie. Concrete genie coming 2018, huh? Yeah, it looks like a puzzle solving kind of game. Kind of reminds me of that game with the shadows that launched with the PlayStation. Yeah. And or that game with the spray painting, that indie title on the PS3, I forget the name of it, uh, the graffiti game. 
I'm not sure that one. Oh, this looks triple A. I've been oh, watching you. Here we go. Erica. Detroit. I've been watching you what? Yeah, I didn't hear. Sorry. <laughs> I think it said her name. I've been oh, maybe she's not. You for a very long time. Oh, no, it's not Detroit. This is a uh, uh, hidden agenda, I think. Oh, really? Maybe. I've been watching you too. Oh, my God. Is that graphics? Oh, this is video. I wouldn't watch Not them too graphics. much. Remember, they Not come graphics. to you from the future. Okay, yeah, it's video. Don't break the seal. If you break the seal, I can't protect you. Holy crap. Interesting looking. What the fuck is going on over here? What the oh, shit here. was going on right there? Uh. Whoa. Oh yeah. Ace Combat. We actually just had, uh, were chatting with somebody on the weekend when we were in, about this game called Ace Fishing. Yeah. And it takes Ace Combat's gameplay, except you're a fish. <laughs> and we played like a little bit of it. But you still have lasers <laughs> and guns and stuff. Rec Room, this looks like a VR title. They're all VR. Oh, okay, yes. oh, good call. Oh, yeah, Max. The world has changed. It's been ripped apart by an unknown force. Sony excels at montages. Yeah. I like this song, too. You know this song? No. Oh. It probably helps that they uh, have such a massive Sony music library. Yeah, freaking right. League of War. The hell? <laughs> yep. Oh. Another I... sound echolocation based you can't see yeah, game. Interesting. So many have come out with that concept now, and we haven't tried a single one of them. Yeah. Ooh, that is fun. Plunder. These all look. Um, Star Child. We've gotten some emails about that one. There's about three now Double Finger, and then four, including that one. Ooh, this looks fun. Mm-hmm. I remember seeing things for that. I think yeah. it may have hit the editing showroom floor when it came to a show and trailer. I've seen it. Something like that though. Maybe we saw it too. Monster of the Deep, Final Fantasy XV add-on. Fishing add-on. Come to see what's biting, have you? Uh, that game could have been so amazing. It had so much potential. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Just call something on my eye. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Ryan Marks. I left London to be a soldier. But then that came from my family. Now I'm back, and everything just got a little bit complicated. I'm a professional soldier. Don't take my man for a joker. That's over. Not fortunate. Music's not quite fitting. The trailer. <laughs> Start talking, you're fucking dead. Wait, listen, it was all his idea. He wanted. Fuck me. Today, a legend is born. Ready for best. So it's VR stealth. 
kind of feels like a GoldenEye game a little bit somehow. Huh. It's got like, I think it's the tiny gun. <laughs> yeah. It's all the guns look like kind of oddly small. The hand movement kind of fits. The I think it's also the wide open spaces. Blood and truth. Huh. That's an odd shot. Yeah, it's the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Uh, As PlayStation VR marks its first year in the market, it's really moving to see how development teams are starting to see the raw power of this game-changing technology. We're witnessing the birth of new styles of gaming, storytelling, and visceral experiences. The future of PlayStation VR yeah. is extremely yeah. bright. Even I can hear that. We look forward to unveiling more in the near future. Why'd you do that? Yeah. One of the consistent factors in our That's success over the four generations of consoles has been the unwavering support of our partners. We were delighted to feature a massive amount of indie and VR content in the pre-show. And now it's time to showcase six games all of which offer features and benefits unique to PlayStation from some of the our most valued away partners, in a sec. Okay. all of whom we've been working with from the very beginning. Let's start with a new trailer from our friends at Ubisoft. Ooh! Oh. Is it going to be oh. for... Folks, it's a beautiful sunny weekend in Hope County. How will you be spending uh. your time outdoors? When's this coming? I'm ready for it. I'm pretty, like, I mean, of any Far Cry, this is the most excited I've been for one. Oh, nice. I think we're kind of fucked in terms of getting flagged on this one. I know. It's just rapid fire. I tried to talk over that first one, but we're totally screwed. Yeah. Might as well just soak it in. God, I love this song. But the original. So they're pushing co-op. I can't remember to what degree co-op happened in the last Far Cry because I never played them. But this is, this looks expansive. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Tractor races. Those tractors were going pretty fucking fast. That was That fire. was fire. <laughs> that was fire. Far Cry 3 had separate co-op missions. Well, it's got Bois. Oh. Guardian. What I'm about to tell you stays between us. While we have been fighting, an ancient gate has opened on Mercury. Oh and no. An army of past and future machines amasses. They intend to reshape the universe in their image. But there is one who has glimpsed this dark future. He was my mentor, Osiris, the most notorious guardian in Vanguard history. Once, Whoa. his dangerous ideas nearly destroyed us, and he was banished. Now he has returned, but will he be a powerful ally, or bring us death? Guys, I... You are the one thing they have no. not foreseen. It just lacks personality, in my opinion. It just has nothing that grabs me. Time is not on our side. It doesn't help that I'm not super sci-fi. I am pretty super, super sci-fi, sci and I'm just not seeing it. I'm not seeing any attraction, guys. Bungie... It's not just you. Bungie yeah. excels at personality list protagonists. Yeah. And I know I draw, I'm going to draw a lot of flame from that, but I'm sorry. Master Chief is almost by definition lacking in personality. <laughs> like, look at him. He's space soldier guy. They seem to agree. What? Uh, oh, Monster Hunter? 
I'm kind of excited for this. I feel like this could be the first Monster Hunter I ever kind of jump in. Yeah. And like try to get into this, the title, like the series. Give it an honest shot. The graphics are good enough for old Fresh. <laughs> you know, he needs good graphics. Yes. They look decent. Um, Whoa, is that underwater or in the sky? And I think that there's been some talk about how the grindiness has been reduced a bit. Yeah. So that that is something that appeals to me. I don't mind working. Like, it's okay that if the game involves, like, some, like, you know, some work. But I just uh -huh. don't want grind. I like work. I don't like grind. Yeah. I love grind. There's a difference. Oh, <laughs> that is violent. Yeah, man. That's too violent. Sorry, guys. <laughs> There's kitties in it, I know that. That's kind of enticing me. Oh. You see them walking around here? They're like a race of like humanoid kitties. Oh, cool. So the issue in the past was it was grindy. So you Very. didn't want to play it. And was it on and console the graphics or a handheld? Were, it was all over the map. I mean, okay. yeah, it was, yeah. I mean, it was on console, but everybody was playing the mobile version. And the graphics looked crappy on both, in my opinion. Okay. Oh! Oh! That's like a little special to the PlayStation version, I guess. Ooh. And your kitty partner will be a robot kitty. Cool. Well, that's a cute crossover. I want to play as Aloy as a kid. Yeah. He was the best. Yeah. Can we have a re-release of that fucking game with just kid Aloy instead mm -hmm. of angry, jerkish, adult Aloy? <laughs> and 90% less cucks? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Did I miss something? I don't know what I missed. All I saw was Aloy. So this comes out tonight. We might yeah, today. do a release night stream of it. I'm not completely decided yet. Uh, beta December 9th, it said. Cool. You thought I missed it because I didn't go, wow, my favorite game, December 9th. <laughs> I did miss it. This is looking pretty incredible. Mm, you know what? I might what? play this tonight. Yeah? This is getting me a little bit excited. And we still have to finish Battlefield. Yeah. And I do want to finish it, because I think that if I reduce the, if I just kind of like went for it, you know. I'm very, very interested in this. I guess I'm very interested in Battlefield. I don't think that would be very effective. The flamethrowers were horrible because they like burned out foxholes and trenches, but I think in just one-on-one -on -one in an open space, a flamethrower probably wouldn't be that effective. But I, I don't know. It looked like they might have been covered in something though, but oh, okay. it might have just been raining. Right. Well, that looks awesome. Yeah. <laughs> DLC. Already. We need Clippy B to come and save us from this early exclusive DLC bullshit, right guys? Brokey cannot come to a uh, World, World War, War II, II thing. No, the, the Call of Dudes. The Becky in her would overpower the Brokey. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, this might deserve a pump in audio. Give me Excite Truck! This looks as close to Excite Truck as I've seen in a while. It's this true. looks fun. Whoa! Okay, is the camera gonna do this to yeah. the camera? <laughs> wow! So 
so what is? Just racing? Like, which is fucking awesome. It almost but... looks like it could be... It's not Ubisoft's title, is it? Get ready. I'm ready. For the... Uh-huh. Rush... Oh, Rush. <laughs> <laughs> On Rush. Did anybody catch the developer on that? I didn't see it. That looks fun. Yeah, dude, it does. Uh oh. It's the Star Wars Dukes. Rush on Rush. Chugga, 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 jump, jump. Wow, this is some good music. That's the. <laughs> this is a badass remix. Ooh, yogurt. The Empire's time has come. Whoa! Whoa you got a big head. That's really big. Whoa! That's almost Rick Moranis size. Holy crap! That was awesome looking. <laughs> Big head helmet. Thank you to all our partners. It's a real privilege. To um, titles. That was the, like some of the best sounding uh, Star Wars overture. I guess that might be the name of that song. Mm. That was amazing. They always had a big head. Was that big head mode or is that like yeah? It was dark helmet. Was that supposed to be her real head or is that showing big head mode? I don't understand. Because it looked like her real head, just a massive helmet. It wasn't quite big enough to be big head mode, yeah. in my opinion. No. Okay. What's next? The city's safer than ever. It's called the Force theme. Okay. Maybe Peter Parker can have more of a life. Oh hey, nice. Oh I forgot. We can get excited for this. Do you need money? No, no I, mean, I mean, I'm a little behind on my rent, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Smiles. He's going to be helping out around here. He's my boyfriend. For acts of extraordinary bravery. I'm the one who kept order in this city! What is this? Devil's breath. Your city and everything you care about will be destroyed. Who is Miles Morales, guys? I don't know that. You won't be able to save them. Wait! This could be really amazing. Yeah. And gameplay wise, if anybody's gonna make a Spider Man game, I'm excited for Insomniac after having played uh, Sunset Overdrive. Yeah. If they can translate the flow from sunset to this, it'll be incredible. Maybe the city needs our friend more than you think. I've been so impressed with everything I've seen of this so far. Yeah, what's with this guy? Miles is Spider-Man's ult. Miles need a breather? Mr. Negative. He's Mr. Negative. Jeez. Oh, I don't know. Thought you guys were just calling me Mr. Negative. <laughs> oh, is this Detroit? Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 Weeks, so the place is a mess. Carl. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Right away, Todd. Aren't you going to school today? I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Mother took 
care? You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Alice! Daddy's very mad! It's all over now. Daddy isn't angry anymore. You know Daddy loves you. Holy fuck! <laughs> Some heavy source material. Holy shit! Wow. I am so excited for this. I was already excited when they showed the the, the detective scene. Yeah. But showing that, that's just. Oh, there's gonna be so much future like philosophy in this. Like, yeah. I'm going to like just go on so many boring like diatribes about yeah, this shit, are. guys. Just fair warning. Ooh. And yay, now we get to watch this. Boom. <laughs> I love how derpy this kid is. Yeah, he really that's is. That's the soul eater. If that kills us, that's it. No Valhalla, no hell, no afterlife, ever. It does not attack. <laughs> oh. Mom made them sound more dangerous than that. Then do not drop your guard. Oh, this looks satisfying. The gameplay looks a lot, looks like it feels a lot different from what I remember God of War feeling like. Maybe it's the closeness of the shot. Oh, cool. Follow me. Yes, sir. I, I really like this kid. He's like an anti-duck, right? Yeah. You know? That doesn't sound like a soul eater. What do you think it is? You shall see, boy. <laughs> oh, DLC. So the singing thing was Aloy? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't want to like shut you down. Oh, could she always launch off another thing like that? I don't remember Maybe that. Maybe you had to unlock it. Maybe. Ah, uh, new skills in the DLC. Huh? Oh, nice! Shadow of Colossus. It's looking incredible. Yeah, it is. Was there even forested parts in the original? 
Wow. That's cool. It's got a tiny bit of stylization to it, it seems. It looked to me there like... There were some yeah. for us. There were some for us. It seemed that there was some, my, uh... Spoilers. I was gonna say you hadn't wanted to see too much of this. Yeah, yeah, I'm like wondering here because like they're showing this as though they think that everybody's seen yeah. everything there's to see in the game, right? Who so called it a remaster? Did I call it a remaster? No. Hey, don't show me how to beat them. Jesus, come on, come on now. <laughs> I only get how many titans to fight? I don't want to know how to do it all. There's 16. I don't care if it's just one. What? This looks like two bosses. Don't be a butt. I am a butt. That's why they watch. <laughs> they are going to show you how to beat this. Of course, the worst part about playing this game is it's so old. Everybody's gonna be like, how did you not know how to do that? Forgetting that they didn't have a Twitch camera on them when they were playing it for the first time 10 years ago. <laughs> We've made one thing clear to you tonight. It's a great time to be a gamer. Mm, that's true, it is. He's to right. close the show, let's have the first in-depth look Closing? at a much-anticipated and really? exclusive title. Huh. From everyone at PlayStation, <laughs> thank you for your continued support. Good night. He just farted, that's why he made that face. He's like... I hope they didn't hear that. It, it has to be Naughty Dog. It has to be Last of Us. It's the only thing that's not hasn't been shown. Ooh, good atmosphere, guys. Wow. <laughs> Sony has by far the best showmanship of all the gaming companies. I would yeah. love to be in the audience for one of their shows. Yeah. Where 
where's the other apostate? Clip her wings. <laughs> Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you, you piece of shit. Oh. Oh. It's always at the worst fucking time. How does it know? How does it know? It's always. Anyways. Your face. Mm. Anybody who doesn't know the series in which I try to use Windows, my Windows computer, to do shit on this show, I boot it up so far be before showtime, go through all the prompts, no, do not update, do not, blah, 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 blah. Mm. Now we have to watch this. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I'm not gonna... Yeah, I'm not gonna watch it either. I don't need to see it again. I saw it. I don't need I, to see it again. I can't block it in of enough of my Ah, uh, it doesn't help. No, none of this. Averting your gaze. All right. Okay. Here we go. Good job. Wow. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of violence. Yeah. Oh. oh, shit. You help save them, but you're not going to help. Coming. You're not. Put her down. Yeah. She's one of them. Left. Did you not just see what happened? She fucking helped everybody. Come on. Master. Hurry the fuck up. Man, this one's a badass. Jesus. So cheap. There's so many characters here. Yeah. Back to back to back. Watch your backs. She's got muscles on muscles. Yeah, man. That's why I'm excited that they showed us that, like, there's so many unique, like, we're not just, it's not just going to be, like, uh, leaning on the weight of Ellie and Joel. Yeah. We're going to... Holy shit. Considering that whole scene involved those three characters there with no sight of Ellie or Joel, it <laughs> tells us that... Which one are we playing? I'm the one that makes people see you stand up. I don't know. It I'm assuming the one that got almost hanged. You think? Yeah. But who knows? Maybe we're playing like all three. That would be unlike Last of Us. With Last of Us, you played Joel or all Ellie. You yeah. didn't like get to just do a quick time for any character at any time. Um. So anyways, that Holy looks shit. fucking good. Um, 
Yeah, so what's really interesting about it though is like uh, the fact that it seems that you're going to be playing somebody other than Ellie and Joel for a substantial part of the game, at least for some pretty critical scenes. Yeah. That was like a substantial amount of violence. It was violent. <laughs> you know, it was the nature of violence, mainly bludgeoning an arm. <laughs> That's like, it's funny because then the guy got shot through the neck with an arrow, but I, like that to me, that's not a big deal. Yeah, because, like, well, it's like death. Yeah, right? But like something about like bludgeoning an arm with a hammer, that's just super violent to me. Yeah. Even though it's technically way less fatal than those other injuries that were sustained. Was somebody thinking that one of those characters is Ellie? I don't know. I don't think so. Was Ellie? No, it wasn't. No. The, it's Definitely not a good not. guess. If, if so, then Naughty Dog just lost all ability to create characters. Yeah. Because it didn't have any resemblance. Um... Don't touch that dial. Don't touch. Go, do go it, anywhere. Do it, touch it. We've got a lot more I mean, to get uh, behind the okay, scenes. Okay, let me. Let me. A lot of those new games that were just announced today, so stay right that there. That was a lot of good stuff, man. You guys are thinking much older Ellie. Like, the, the story might take place, like, between two different time periods, and there might be a time. I really don't see the resemblance, though. More guys. than anything, I'm seeing people say it's Ellie's mom. Okay, that's making a big leap, but I mean, that's possible. We don't really know much about Ellie's backstory. Do we? What did we ever learn about Ellie? She doesn't know her own backstory, that's why. Yeah. So it could be. We didn't learn anything during Last of Us about where she came from, so sure. That's a theory I could accept, sure. But it's just a game theory. Um, who's Neil Dr What talked about what? So what do they end up going into after the conference? Ellie has tattoos, and this woman does not have tattoos. Ah, good call. There you go. It would be, like I said, if that's supposed to be older Ellie, yeah, there's no it's a poor, way. poor resemblance. Yeah. Like, her nose is completely different. Ellie has almost a button nose, and she has, like, an elongate... I know your nose keeps growing, but it doesn't change shape. Yeah. No, it doesn't look like her. Yeah, it doesn't look like her. And Naughty Dog's masters at creating characters, so they would definitely yeah. create a cr character that looked like a plausible... Oh yeah, we do know the Firefly Firefly leader promised Ellie's mom and she'd keep Ellie safe. Demons are coming. That's kind of all we really know. Yeah, that's a, is that a thing that was said? I don't remember. Later on they show the trailer again, uh, but I don't see any like new things here. All right, so that was uh, oh. Paris Games Week. Those are some good stuff. I don't think that um, they should call it... Uh, Last of Us 2? The second part of E3. I think that oh. was not... Uh, that was, like, maybe... <laughs> that was a lot of really good shit, though. It was really good shit, but that's not... What was the first thing they showed? Oh, God, Detroit. It's like it's like a, it's like like a an E3 expansion pack. It's not, like, part two, in my opinion. Yeah. Who is Neil? I don't... Uh, Neil... And and what, what what do you guys keep on saying? What did you talk about and what does it matter? I'm not following all your... I'm talking to Becky, so I'm not following everything you're saying. But I just keep on seeing that you keep bringing him up and stuff he said. He's the director. And what about him? Um, Sony defending itself? What, what do you mean Why? defending itself? What's, what's wrong with it? What's going on? Seems there's a controversy that I'm not... He started a controversy about violent games? What? Oh, man. I love just not looking at the internet. <laughs> Fucking God. He says that the new character is integral to Ellie and Joel's story. Cool. Mm. People said that this and Detroit were too violent. Oh, my God. Fuck off, everybody. Fuck off. Well, we, we, why? What, why is it too violent? Like, seriously, what, what, how about, like, every popular show right now is too violent, then? How about, like, The Walking Dead, the show, is too violent? How about Game of Thrones is too violent? Well, how about, like, That's everything that we all plus. love on TV? That's why they're M and 18+. These are for adults. We deserve video games. We deserve mature content. We deserve media that makes us uncomfortable and makes us have discussions and makes us feel people something. complain about those shows too yeah well don't watch them 
Yeah. Why? What? There's books that make me feel uncomfortable. These games like, are made by adults for adults. Yeah. That's what Neil said. Okay. That's what the purpose of media is. It's to experience something that isn't real. Something that makes you feel uncomfortable, makes you feel happy, sad, does things. It evokes things within the audience. Violence evokes responses. Yeah. Violence can be used in a story effectively or callously and haphazardly. Both actually have a good place in media because it's all in the eye of the beholder whether they liked how it was executed or not. Mm -hmm. People complain it's too violent. Well, it sounds like you're not buying the game then. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> what is what? To what end does someone complain that yeah, it's too violent? Are they asking for the, him to change it? Or are they saying that, like, you've lost a sale? Or, like, what? What is the point I of the complaint? I imagine what they were complaining about is the fact that they want their kids to be able to watch these conferences, too. And they can't because there's violent shit in it. Did the conference have a uh, rating before it began? I don't know. I know. That, don't, didn't they show the rating of, like, most of the games before they showed them or something? I don't know. Well, yeah, we were taken aback by the violence in it, too. We even said, like, that was really that was a lot of really violent stuff. But... I can't, I could see that they wanted, okay, that's... They did have a rating? At, uh, for the conference? That complaint I could see. Like, somebody sat down and said, hey, do you want to watch the PlayStation conference? Because, like, sure, I could see you sitting down with my kid to watch PlayStation conference thinking that even the violent games, they would tone them back for the purpose of a conference. Yeah. But, um... I imagine Sony wouldn't be so stupid as to put out that kind of content without saying before the show started what it was rated. Yeah, only one warning at the start. Okay, and it's just it's just too bad that like everybody ignores every warning. Yeah. So, so in other words, parents are the parents who watch this with kids. The first sh sh viewing are angry that they disregard warnings. Perhaps the trailers that were really violent should have like extremely graphic or something. I guess. I could see, sure. All right. I can, maybe they could have given an extra warning being like. But to, to sure. what end? Like. Just like to give people a heads up. No, not to what end. I guess I'm saying like um, how much violence should have that warning. Right. And if you did that too often, people just ignore that yeah. too. You know. Yeah. It, anyways, I don't, I don't, whatever. Let's talk about the, the conference before BlizzCon starts. Uh, they showed some really amazing stuff. That Last of Us trailer is great. I love that they showed Last of Us without showing Ellie and Joel. I think that was yeah. really great. Me it too. shows us that like they can create great stories without hinging upon old characters being rehashed over and over. And it's amazing how much how much character those characters had. Yeah. In just what was that, like a two and a half minute trailer? When I saw her Something about her weathered look really did seem familiar to me, though. And then I realized that that character, spoilers, if you haven't played Last of Us, you're dumb for not having finished it yet. Uh-oh. You <laughs> said spoilers first. I did say it. Tune out for a little bit. Um, looked a little bit like Joel's, like, sort of girlfriend. Mm. Who, But she's dead. Yeah. So... It, but she's not quite the same. Yeah, it's not she had different hair and everything. But for a split second, I thought that was the Tess. only character that I yeah. thought it could be. Yeah. But then she'd look a little bit too young too. Yeah. No. But that yeah, I was just trying at the beginning to like see should I be like going crazy right now? Should this be something I recognize? Um. Man, the expressions. I also the entire you time. You can come back now. Come on Spoilers back. Spoilers are done. Also, because it's so dark, I couldn't tell if she was black or not. Mm -hmm. I don't think she is, but during the trailer, the first viewing, I was like, is this the leader of the Fireflies? Am uh, I really not for... Am I Like, I was having trouble because she was so shrouded. I was like, could it be her? They have, like, the same hair, though. They had similar hair, but it's not her either. So everybody in this trailer, I don't think, is... I think they're all new. Um, definitely the two Asian characters here. Mm -hmm. uh, these two. <laughs> I don't think they're anybody that we can recognize. No. Um, so yeah, that's an awesome looking they trailer. They seem new, yes. It shows that the gameplay, if that's a gameplay scene, and it almost definitely is, because they, Last of Us never showed anything with mm -hmm. that much action with no gameplay input at any time through the first game. And I don't imagine they'd make us watch a cinematic like that in Last of Us 2 yeah. without having any gameplay. So this is gameplay, and that's insane. I would imagine, yeah. Um, 
Uh, God of War's trailer was pretty minimal. Uh, looks like just a little bit more, just showing us a little bit more in terms of uh, the gameplay and stuff. And it looks great. Mm -hmm. But not too much to talk about there. Just looks good. Um, but yeah. How many stories is Detroit going to have? Oh man, I'm so play? excited. Like I was scared to keep watching, but I was in trance. Oh, this is so amazing. And it, Fuck. this particular scene hinges upon one of my favorite, like, concepts. The idea of, like, humanoid androids with human-like artificial intelligence who can be reset. Yeah. Ben and I always joked that we would have, like, a concubine robot woman who you can reset. <laughs> um, but... Anyways, yeah, it's chilling. Yeah. Oh, what a chilling, like, shiver-inducing scene. This yeah. guy is terrifying. Whew. Good lord. Um, th they just do such a great job, Sony. Sony's studios, all the studios that seem to be under Sony, do such a great job of creating characters that you want to reach out through the screen and help. Yeah. You know, like just Yes. Um and we often try to play games in like oh, kind of like fucked up ways, like different than what other people would play it, but I can't imagine playing this and and not taking it seriously. Yes. Yeah, I I kind of missed that with Beyond Two Souls. I couldn't get serious. I just couldn't. I didn't mm. feel anything for the characters. Yeah. Um but that one, I might like <laughs> You, oh you guys God. can recall the time where, how angry I got at <laughs> the burning fridge oh. scene. <laughs> how angry I got with the, the idea that one of my characters might die. I was so upset. Um, uh, and this looks great. I might We yeah. might have to see if we have enough energy to play this tonight. Mm -hmm. um, not much to say about the Ubisoft's new uh, Far Cry. It was just a little bit more... Um, this oh, little yeah, indie game with the, the designs on the walls look neat. This looks interesting. For a second, I really thought it, it's like somewhere between like a, a a David Cage game or whatever you want to call these games. Mm -hmm. And like, it, I thought for a second that it might be uh, beyond, or I mean, Hidden Agenda, which right. we're playing soon because it has a similar choose your own adventure style. Right, and it's associated with Playlink. The right? fact that it's Playlink means it's going to be multiplayer. Right. Um, because Playlink's Playlink is Sony's brand title for the concept of playing on your phone uh, through the console, so that many people in a in a room can all like have advanced controls like that. Um. Good conference. Little, short, sweet. What was the very first thing again? First thing that they showed was, was new. Oh, that yeah, new thing. IP. You know, okay, yeah, like, it's like, again, I wouldn't call it E3 Part 2 like they said, but it's definitely like an E3, like, it, it was more than just a, a middle-of-the-year conference. They, they showed Absolutely. some new stuff, and I think it was pretty impressive. I think it was really, really good. Um... One thing I was expecting was David Cage to come out on stage because everybody was like, David Cage, oh God, David Cage, like when I said that we were going to do Paris Games Week. Oh, Did really? he have like a separate interview or something that like made everybody angry? <laughs> we all know that it does... Or is that it just the fact that it's David Cage? There's no love lost between me and David Cage, so... He did an interview after? He did an interview, huh? <laughs> did he do it on this? He did an incredibly embarrassing, clueless interview. Really bad interview. He... Mm, is it in here? I don't see him. I don't see him in the thumbnails. So it must have been later on. Oh the my god. The interview is with Eurogamer. Oh, for a split second I thought that was what's his name from fucking uh, No Man's Sky. I <laughs> thought they let him on the screen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought they had let him in. It's like, you do not let that man in the building. Sean, Sean Murray. Murray. He seemed really offended by every question, really pretentious. He victimized himself as a prosecuted game director begging to be taken seriously. Oh my god, he's so bad! Oh dear. Look, I... Uh, we have to get ready for BlizzCon. But the thing with David Cage is I respect creatives, no matter how much I might disagree with them. Because at least he's 
he's a creative. He's doing something. He's making something. And whether you like it or not, he still made something, right? Like, you can't get too critical. But what if I just made a shit on the front porch? Yeah. <laughs> that did make creative. something, but you didn't publish it. What if I did? You didn't get an ERSRB rating <laughs> for it. But what I'm saying is, I think the reason I'm so critical and so annoyed by him is because his content is like, goes from like, oh, you got something here, to like, you ruined it with yourself. Stop <laughs> oh, no. putting yourself yeah. in there. Yeah. Separate yourself from your content, please, because I think you have the capability of making great shit if you can get your fucking self out of it. Yeah. I feel the same way about Tarantino sometimes. Yeah. Like, I love his shit, but I'm not, I'm not one of those Tarantino worshippers, despite most of the film students that are out there. Oh, my God. Those, when Tarantino you can feel so the like ego that. just bleeding oh into the I content. I loved it whenever I was younger. Like, when Pulp Fiction and stuff first came out, I was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. And now you can just hear Tarantino when you hear dick, 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 dick. You can yes! Just, Although I, I love I mean, that, that was literally quote. Tarantino saying it. Yeah. But, I mean, like... Once you see that, set, when you can hear see Tarantino saying all the characters' lines, and it just gets annoying. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna retire soon. I've heard Tarantino's nice. He's not the nicest dude around. He's not the nicest. I heard he was that he could be. Maybe, he may. I mean, he's a, he's a little bit centric, so maybe he's on all all sides of the coin. Like depending yeah. on the day you catch him on. Yeah, maybe. That's what great creatives are like, I guess. But anyways, you know, I don't want to hate David Cage, but um, he really makes it hard. I don't hate him, but he yeah. makes it hard to like him. Yeah. It's he almost impossible. <laughs> Hardcore editing. Anywho. All right, so we got to get ready for BlizzCon, guys. I'm going to head on over to BlizzCon.com. <laughs> hey, it worked! I just put it in. Whoa! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> I just did it as a joke. Uh, how do you boot this up? How do you get to it? I guess watch. Oh my god, they've done they everything make it so right. Simple. They've really done it right. <laughs> it's the future. Um, how do I get in now, though? Because BlizzCon, okay, here it is. Mm. Opening ceremonies, there we go. Uh, all right, guys, so we'll be right back after this with BlizzCon 2017 opening ceremonies. Thanks for watching the Paris Games Week with us. Yeah, we'll see you, you soon.